What we have here is a complete base station and what we're demoing is actually a LTE advanced based small cell base station. So we're deploying, or our customers are deploying LTE small cell base stations now. Large volumes of these are being used in Korea, in Japan, and there are trials going on in the US and in Europe for LTE small cells. But of course, the technology always moves forward. There is a new release of a standard coming and operators must be planning ahead for that new release. And that's what we're showing here. So release 10 of the LTE standard, LTE advanced, and what we're actually showing is carrier aggregation. So this system, what we have here, is a small cell base station with our T3300 processor, one radio, a 10 megahertz bearer at 800, and a second radio, a 10 megahertz bearer at 2.6 gigahertz, two separate radios, and then they are combined. So on the chip, there is a virtual 20 megahertz channel. That gives the operator the higher speed, the more performance, and the trunking gain advantages of one big bearer, 20 megahertz wide, much more efficient, which is great. For the user, it gives you higher peak speeds, more flexibility. It also gives the carrier more freedom about being able to use different spectrum using orphan bands in a much more efficient, flexible way. So for example, you might launch with two different channels of LTE and get all those advantages. Or perhaps what you do, since we can support dual mode, 3G and LTE on the same chip, you deploy your base station, one radio running LTE at one frequency, a separate radio running 3G at a different frequency, a dual mode baseband, and then two years in the future, you refarm your spectrum, you turn off that 3G use case, you migrate everyone onto LTE, and now you can use that same base station, that same radio card, that same spectrum, but you're taking advantage of it for LTE. No hardware change, no truck roll, no extra cost, just a smooth, seamless upgrade, smooth, seamless refarming.